Thanks for having me on. Hey, of course, man. I was showing, you know, a lot of people think I'm just the most harsh person ever, and I, I get a lot of hate. I saw somebody, uh, I saw somebody your interview from a news station from like seven years ago, and somebody said, Bryson, he makes you look soft. I said, <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yo, so first off, how are you doing? How's the church going? How is life? I'm doing great. I mean, the church is thriving. We were we had a packed house on Sunday morning. And so YouTube has been censoring us super hard. So we literally have to create a new YouTube channel every single week. And we just have an email list where we let people know where we're streaming, but they are shutting us down every single week. But as far as our physical crowd, it's packed, you know, 350 people on Sunday mornings, a few hundred people Sunday night. Wednesday night. So yeah, going strong. Amazing. Yeah. YouTube is like that. Uh, I've had music videos banned. I don't know if you know this, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a rapper. Um, I have, I, I've had multiple videos banned on, banned on YouTube. I've had songs banned on Spotify because they were deemed as homophobic or whatever you, whatever they say. So I definitely understand how they throttle people. They'll shadow ban you. They'll outright ban you. I am, very used to that, but you are actually also, so people know me for being the most banned rapper in the country. And this was funny. You're actually also more banned than me. You're literally banned from countries. Is that true? Yeah, I'm, I'm banned from like over 30 countries right now because I was, I was banned from Canada. I was banned from England, Ireland, Australia, New Zealand, Holland, um Jamaica <laughs> I'm kind of losing track but and then and then I got banned from like 25 countries at once because I got banned from the entire Schengen area of Europe so that put me up over 30 or something so, so what does that mean like in action like if you literally try to get a flight there like what would happen yeah I'm not even allowed to have a layover in these places. Even if I don't even enter the country, the airline will just kind of take me aside. They won't let me check in. You know, I'll go to check in and they'll take me aside and say, hey, you know, we're being told that security will not allow you to board this flight and whatever. And, you know, by the way, even when I fly in the United States, a lot of times I'll go to just check into a flight, say, from like Phoenix to Dallas or something. And, um, I'll try to check in and it'll say, go see an agent and they have to call security and I have to wait while they get like clearance for me to fly. And, and think about how weird that is when I have no criminal record. I, you know, I'm just a totally squeaky clean guy. I'm a Bible believing Christian, but just because of preaching the Bible, I'm treated like I'm some kind of a menace to society, even just trying to fly on a domestic flight. I mean, it's crazy. That is so, I, I, that has happened to me before. Not as much as you, obviously. I stopped flying planes uh, because they're trying to force a muzzle on my face. And I don't, I don't do that. But um, I, I tried to get to on a plane in Chicago and they said I was blacklisted. They didn't give me a warning. I didn't get an email, but I was blacklisted. And I had to like send all my Twitter followers to harass them for them to actually let me on a plane. Or I was going to be stuck in Chicago with no car or nothing. And you seem to go do this these things on the regular, which is, nuts to me so, so why are you banned from other countries what is is there a single situation that happened or is it the overall message you have why are you so banned well e each of these countries has banned me separately from one another so they gave different reasons you know at the different times that they banned me like when the united kingdom banned me they listed a bunch of things that i had preached as why i was being banned and it wasn't even all about homosexuals. I think one of the things that they listed was about that, but one of them was something that I said against Muhammad, where I said that the founder of Islam, Muhammad, is a pedophile. And, you know, because he literally married a, a six year old and consummated the marriage when she was nine. I mean, that's just, that's a fact that even Muslims will readily admit to. But that statement was listed on the paperwork as this is hate speech, this is not allowed, you can't say this. And then just preaching against fornication, there was a, a quote listed where I was ripping on fornication and, and women being whores and everything like that. I mean, it's it's different things. But obviously, the rest of the countries that banned me, they pretty much all cited 
hate speech toward LGBT, whatever. I mean, that's that's the big one. 